should visual snow syndrome be treated as a disability? I think a, a disability is a, is a, it can be a very individual phenomena. I mean, we as physicians and surgeons, we deal with disabilities in our patients all the time. Um, and, you know, having to, um, you know, ask uh, organizations and government and workplaces and, 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 and home places to basically uh, be very accommodating uh, to a person, a, a, a patient's disabilities. So, visual snow syndrome um, has been cl classified as a rare disorder by, by NORD, N-O-R-D, and uh, was classified as a rare disorder. So it's a real thing, um, it's a real um, disorder, real condition that patients suffer from. The degree of suffering is variable, uh, from, from mild to very severe, and it can be an extremely debilitating disease, um, and patients do experience a lot of disability, they can't work, uh, they can't function normally, and I think that if it affects a patient's quality of life, their ability to uh, have a gainful employment, to work, to live comfortably, it is indeed a disability. And I think um, describing or, or labeling visual stone syndrome as a disability, I think it will take a lot of effort and education on the part of physicians. Um, uh, government, healthcare, uh, community health organizations, the public, and patients themselves to educate people that yes, this is a real disease, it's a, it can be very disabling, and to allow uh, workplaces um, to basically, you know, uh, make allowances for these patients who suffer from visual snow.